Here we have the beautiful and mysterious triangular conundrum called Pascal's Triangle. It's named after a French mathematician, Blaise Pascal. The triangular pattern is known all over the world. In Iran, where I grew up, it's called Kayam's Triangle. In China, it's called Yang Hui's Triangle. To build the triangle, each number is the sum of the two numbers above it. So you continue building the triangle by finding the sum of the numbers. The area outside of the triangle is empty space. So I'm going to name this space zero. On the far left and on the far right are all ones. That is because if you look at this number, the number one, and the blank space, zero plus one equals one. And it continues all the way down. No matter how large this triangle becomes, the outer edges will always be one. Now I'm going to solve for this one. One plus one equals two. One plus two equals three. Two plus one, three. 1 plus 3, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4, 1 plus 4, 5, 4 plus 6, 10, and it looks like I need to make my square just a tad bigger. Let's see if I can make it big enough. Okay, this one's going to need to be bigger. 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. I'm going to go ahead and go over here to 6. And 10 plus 5, 15. Looks like I'm going to need to make that bigger as well. This one will be 20. And then I'm going to copy this one, get rid of this one, let me move 15 over here. Now the next thing I want you to notice is look at each row. Now I'm not going to solve these. That will be your job for this week. So now let's look at the rows. This is our base row. So I've numbered it zero. And that will be important later when we learn more about this triangle. The next row, you see one plus one. And the next row is one plus two plus one, next row, one plus three, plus three, plus one, oops. Fourth row, one plus, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my pluses so that one plus four plus six, plus four, plus one. We have one plus five, plus 10, plus 10, plus five, plus one. We can get rid of that. And down to the next row, the sixth one down, it's one plus six plus fifteen plus twenty plus fifteen plus six plus one. Now this final row 
is going to be one of your assignments for this week's conundrum. Solve the numbers right here, the sums of the numbers right above each one of these spaces. And then put them over here. Now let's look at another thing. So if I say 1 plus 1, that equals 2. 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 4. 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. Now I like to group these. 1 plus 3 and 3 plus 1, they're both equal to 4. So 4 plus 4 equals 8. This next one, 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1. I, again, I like to group 1 plus 4 and then 4 plus 1. They're both 5. 5 and 5 is 10. And then add the 6 right here. And that equals 16. I bet you're already noticing a pattern. If you look at this, we have 1, then 2. Next is 4. 8, 16. I bet you can already guess without even solving the sum of these numbers. So for this part, I like to take the 2 in the middle, 10 and 10, and then I'm going to group the 5 and the 5, which also equals 10. So I would say 10, 20, 30, and then I have the 1 on each side. That adds 2 more, so that's 32. In this next row, I have 20, and 15 plus 15 is 30. 20 and 30 equals 50. Then 6 and 6 is 12, so that would be 62. And then 1 and 1, and that would make this 64. In this next row, once you solve the sums of the numbers above each of these hexagons, then you can put your equation down here and you can solve that equation and see if it follows the same pattern that you see here. I hope you can figure that out. The next thing I'd like to show you is how it's not only a mathematical pattern, but it's also a beautiful work of art. Now this part can get a little tricky, but we will get through it, I'm sure. So for the mathematical work of art, we can create something called fractals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each one of these hexagons that has an odd number. Now I know one is an odd number, so I'm going to click on all of these outer triangles. I'm going to do the left diagonal first. And then I'm going to change the color of these. I think I'll go with, let's go with a darker blue or kind of blue green. Now I'm going to get all of the ones over here on the right. Oops, I got something I didn't need to get. Let me go ahead and just get this one so I don't capture that again. So here we go. I hope you'll enjoy this because it is probably one of the most fascinating things about math and it shows the tie over between math and art. Now we're going to choose all of the odd numbers in this middle section. So if I look at this diagonal here, I've got 1, which is an odd number. 2 is an even number. The next one is 3. Let's see if I can capture just that. There we go. And then the next one, 4 is an even number. 5 is an odd, 6 is even, so I know this one is going to become an odd number, so I'm going to 
color that goes in. And you see I didn't get the hexagon, so let me color that. Now I'm going to go to, to this diagonal here, 3 and 5. And let's get the outer edge. Oh, I'm going to get it again. There we go. Well, no, I didn't get it. Let me just color these and come back to it. Okay, I guess it didn't capture that. Okay, so let's get the this one. And this one. Are you beginning to see kind of a pattern here? So these numbers right here are all even. What shape does that make? Kind of interesting. So this is an odd number, and here is another one. 15 is odd. This last row down here, I'm going to go ahead and give you a hint. Every one of them, the hexagons in this part of Pascal's triangle are odd. So I'm going to go ahead and color them with the darker color. So do you see a pattern beginning to emerge? It's kind of an interesting one. So as you might have guessed, this triangle has intrigued mathematicians for centuries. And not just mathematicians, but also scientists. It's helped us discover many things in nature. We're still learning new secrets about Pascal's Triangle, even today. Just last year, a discovery was made. Perhaps it might help us to unlock the many possibilities for the future to solve some very difficult problems. Throughout history, mathematicians and scientists have discovered many of the secrets and mysteries about the universe using this beautiful triangle. Who knew mathematics could be so interesting? I hope you enjoy this beautiful pattern called Pascal's Triangle. <music>